After a bit slower day 1A, the entries in the warm-up event went out of the roof. During the second flight, we have more than 170. Can we expect like 400 actions to be made? Meanwhile, I'm always curious about players' mood, their creativity and reaction to answering the questions. So let's talk to them. Three times a play. Both of us, we are more than 30, you know? And uh, there's a... Not in front of the camera, I mean, you have to be a little bit more... Uh... Okay, but yes, honestly, yes, we are. We talk about the new school of poker and old school of poker. Yeah. So in which part are you now at this point? That's a very good question. I would say I'm moving towards the old school because I don't play so much online anymore. And I've been playing poker for like 13 years now. So it's been a while. And some of the new up and coming players, I don't even know about yet. So I would say I'm rather old school right now. And, and I enjoy being old school. Man, trust me, you are an old school, but representing it the best way possible. I used to be called like uh, Adi the Kid, but nowadays I'm not the kid anymore. Cause like okay. uh, when I started, I was about 17, 18 years old. So nowadays I'm kind of old school already. What are the most exciting things about poker for you? For me, bluffing in big pot, especially like a very weak hand, like five high or six high, or you like, you know, like a, I missed the draw and you know just shove on the river or something like that. It is very exciting for me. And what about sitting on the poker table here in minute when the dealers are so so gorgeous, so beautiful? <laughs> Of course, I'll be exciting as well. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> For me, uh, from the beginning, it was the thing I was always trying, you know, to film or to see, you know, to, to show my friends to come them here. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the, the thing I really, really like the most. Oh, just the traveling. I, I love it. I mean, I love going to new places, even if it's like a smaller tournament, but it's in a new country where I've never been before. I really want to go and I really want to experience not just the poker room, but also the country and, and uh, do some sightseeing and stuff like that. And uh, so I really enjoy the traveling part of, of poker. The warm-up final table behind me. A total of 409 entries were made and a bit more than $752,000 as a prize pool form. Salahadin Badir is a chip leader at the moment. One of those nine guys, they will take down the trophy and $158,000. Let's wait and see who will be he. Maybe any places you've seen here in, in, in Cyprus? Yeah, actually, I live here in Cyprus now. I'm not sure if you know this, but I live in Larnaca. No, no. I live in Larnaca, so this is kind of my home here. And it's a 90-minute drive for me up here to the Merit. Uh, so I'm planning to come quite often, and uh, I really enjoy playing here. So, yeah, this is my home casino right now. So, like, I, am, I will be here quite often. <laughs> So 6-4 suited for Rashad and ace-queen suited for Salahadin Badir. So let's see the board flush draw, let's see the turn card. Rashad has backdoor flush and the nine for backdoor flush for him. So both players, they have flush draw, but Salahadin is in front of ace-queen high.
it's the biggest your win having in mind the amount of the people 409 players you won so many tournaments before it's only the 10th biggest your win money wise but it's the biggest field you beaten what's the feeling çok iyi hissediyorum çok güçlü hissediyorum ilk defa yani warm up'larda bir şey yapabildim açıkçası ilk defa bu kadar ciddi oynadım bunu güzel hissediyorum beni süper her şey and uh, you played 407 players you outplayed and the two last left and you decided to make a flip how you made that decision to make a flip almost 42000 dollars iki gün önce d2 oynarken o arkadaşla aynı masada oynadık eğer finale kalırsak ikimiz Sadece kalırsak bölüşür müyüz dedi. Ya olur mu öyle şey dedim. Çiplere falan bakarız dedim yani. Hani böyle bölüşülür mü hemen? Olmaz dedi. Biz Azeriyiz dedi. Kardeş Türk falan filan bölüşeceğiz dedi yani. Nasıl olacaksa olacak dedi. E bende 40 sende bir olsa hiç önemi yok dedi. Bölüşeceğiz dedi ve hakikaten ikimiz kaldık ve bölüştük yani. Çiplerimiz de eşitti. Tesadüf oldu. İlginç bir hikayesi var yani. Reşada da sormanız lazım. Filip'te de ben kazandım yani şansa. Birinci de ben olmuş oldum. Kimin kazandığının önemi yok. Parayı biz bölüştük yani. Hani ben birinci 158 bin, ikinci 116 bin alıyor. Biz ikisini toplayıp ikiye böldük. Yani ben kazandım ama eşit para kazandık biz onunla. Yani we, we have same money with him. Last August uh, we saw you in the Super Herola Bowl and it was amazing week for you. Uh, you made the deep runs in all of the tournaments and even in the 50k you won the title. Can we expect you, especially after this victory, in more than a week to see you in Triton and Super Herola Bowl Europe again? Super Herola Bowl. Çok çok iyi geçmişti benim için. Oyuncularla oynamak süper zaten. Çok büyük bir aksilik olmazsa tabii ki geleceğim yani hani böyle Allah'tan çok büyük bir kaza bela yaşamazsak burada olacağım yani. Geleceğim turnuvaya inşallah yine iyi gitmeye çalışacağız, bakacağız yani deneyeceğiz şansımızı. Okay, cheers. Thank you. Buddy. Yeah, bye bye.